Hello students, my name is Dr. Gajendra Purohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics and BSc. Look here, we are doing Infinite Series 2.0 where I have already uploaded a lot of videos. In Infinite Series, I am going to tell you about De Morgan's test. What is De Morgan's test and when do we use De Morgan's test? Well students, I want to tell you that whenever the rabbit test fails, then we will use this test to determine whether the Infinite Series that we have here is convergent or it is divergent. Now, let's see how we will use this and what is its formula. So, students, we will discuss De Morgan's test. But first, if you haven't watched my videos of Infinite series, you can go to iTab and watch it there. I have uploaded many videos. So you can understand this easily, watch the video of rabbit test. De Lambert ratio test is also important. Because first of all, if we have any infinite series, then we apply De Lambert ratio test. And if that test fails, then we use the rabbit test. If the rabbit test also fails, then we use the De Morgan's test. What is De Morgan's test? If we have an infinite series with positive terms. And limit n tends to infinity. n u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1. And here the rabbit test is like this. See here students, limit n tends to infinity. And here we will get n u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1, right? See, this is what we have here. If this value is greater than 1, then series that we have will be convergent. If it is less than 1, then it would be divergent. If it is equal to 1, then test fails. If it is equal to 1, then there is nothing to do. Just minus 1 here and multiply it by log n. Now we will find its value, limit n tends to infinity. If it is greater than 1, it will be convergent. Otherwise, it will be divergent. But if it is equal to 1, then test will fail. Let's take an example and try to understand this. Suppose if we have any infinite series. You need to determine if this series is convergent or divergent. First, we will find its nth term. Nth term will be 1 square, 3 square, whole square of 2n minus 1. Here it's 2 square, 4 square, 2n square. Now we will find its un plus 1 term. So the un plus 1 term will be this. We will write it one term ahead here, right? First, we will apply De Lambert ratio test. What is De Lambert ratio test? Limit n tends to infinity, u1 plus 1 upon u1. If you haven't watched it, then check it on iTab. Students, if we do this, you will see this term cancels with this term. And that term will be cancelled by this, just this is left. And after n tends to infinity, it will be 1. This means test fails, as the test failed. So what do we do? We apply the rabbit test. It is limit n tends to infinity and un upon un plus 1 minus 1. Here we will get un plus 1 upon un, we will inverse it. So we will get 2n plus 2 above and 2n minus 1 below, minus 1 and multiply it by n. Now students, what will we do? Firstly, we will do whole square of 2n plus 1, we will find its LCM. Then the highest degree term will be cancelled. We have n here. So we will take n common from here and from here. n square and n square will be cancelled. Now when we check its limit, we will get 1. That means the Rabe test also failed. Now, when the rabbit test also failed, so what is the next test that we have? We need to see that as well. So, the rabbit test has failed. Now, as the test has failed, so what test will we use here? We will use the De Morgan test. What does the De Morgan's test tells us? It tells us that limit n tends to infinity. And students, here we will get an un upon un plus 1, minus 1, minus 1 into log n. Right. So, we will calculate this value and see what will we get. So, limit n tends to infinity, here we will get this value. We have already found its value, right? Its value is here. So, we will multiply this n inside. So, students, here we will get 4n square plus 3n upon whole square of 2n plus 2, right students? So, the total value that we will get is this, minus 1 into log n, okay? Now, what will we do? We will simplify this, limit n tends to infinity. So, students, here we will get 4n square plus 3n minus we will take its LCM, its whole square of 2n plus 2, then we can expand this value. So here we will get 4n square plus 8n plus 4. So this we will get is log n. Now you can see that 4n square is getting cancelled with 4n square. So limit n tends to infinity and students when we will solve it, then from here we will get minus 5n, minus 4 into and students here we have log n upon whole square of 2n plus 2. So when we will simplify it, what will be its value from here? Its value will be 0. And if this value will be 0, it means it is less than 1, right? If it is less than 1, then this series will be divergent. This is how we can solve these type of series, okay? I will solve another question for you. Test the convergence of this series. So what will we do first? We will find its nth term. Our nth term will be a, a plus 1, a plus 2, and this will go on, right? 
and here we will get a plus n minus 1. This is its nth term. Similarly, in its denominator, we will get b into b plus 1 into b plus 2 and nth term will be b plus n minus 1. Now, what we will do is we will find its u n plus 1 term. So, this will be a a plus 1 a plus 2 and it will go on. a plus n minus 1 multiplied by and here we have a plus n. Similarly, if we check its denominator, then here we will have b plus 1, b plus 2. So, students, here this will be b plus n minus 1 into b plus n, okay? Now, students, we will apply the D'Alembert ratio test. We will find the value of limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 divided by un. So, first this term get cancelled with this term and we know this will also get cancelled with this here and only this term will be left. If we discuss this, the limit n tends to infinity. So, in this case, students, here we will get a plus n upon b plus n. We will take n common in limit n tends to infinity and calculate its value. This will give us 1, means the test fails. Now, we will apply the Rabe test here. In this case, the Rabe test involves the limit n tends to infinity. Here, we will get u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 into n. We will find its value, that what exact value are we getting. So, you will see here we will get limit n tends to infinity and here we will have its reverse. So, this b plus n will go above and a plus n will come below. Here it is minus 1, right? Now, we will simplify this value. I am writing it here, limit n tends to infinity. Here, when we will take its LCM, the LCM we will get is b plus n minus a minus n upon a plus n. As you can see here, n will get cancelled with n. We will take n common. So, from here we will have its value, limit n tends to infinity. Here we have n and here we have this as b minus a. From here, I can take n common. So, this will be a upon n plus 1. Here, this n will get cancelled with n. So, limit n tends to infinity. So, after n tends to infinity, this will become 0. Therefore, from here, the value that we will get will be b minus a. Now, students, let's see that when will it be convergent. We know that if we talk about the rabbit test, if its value is greater than 1, means if b minus a is greater than 1, then it will be convergent. If we simplify it, then if b is greater than a plus 1, it will be convergent. But when will it be divergent? Now look, this is divergent when b minus a is less than 1. That means b is less than a plus 1. Then what will it be? It will be divergent. And students, when does the test fail? It fails when the value becomes 1. This means that b minus a is equals to 1. In this case or in the other one where b is equals to a plus 1, then what happens? The test fails. When the test fails, what test do we use? We use the De Morgan's test. Now, what exactly does this test tells us? So, what does the De Morgan test tells us here? It says that when we find this value, it means n, un upon un plus 1 minus 1. Limit n tends to infinity, then students, after subtracting it by 1, we will multiply that by log n, right? We will find its value to see how it will behave when we take the value of b as a plus 1 or b minus a as 1. In this case, how will it behave? So, you will get limit n tends to infinity. Here, we are applying rabbit test. If you see, then value that we are getting. Here, the value that we will get is n into b minus a upon a plus 1, right? So, what do we have here? n upon and here we got b minus a. We are putting 1 in place of b minus a. So, here it is n upon a plus n. And here in this, we will have its value as minus 1 into log n. n into b minus a upon a plus 1 and value of b minus a is 1. So, n upon a plus n is the overall value of this. We have put this in place of that overall value. Now, what we will do here is take limit n tends to infinity. We will get, let us take the LCM of a plus n. Here we got minus a and minus n multiplied by log n. n and n will cancel each other. So, this will become minus a. Now, take this out. And limit n tends to infinity. So, students, here we will get log n upon a plus n. Can you see? It is infinite over infinite. So, if we apply DL hospital rule here. So, what will we get here? Minus a, limit n tends to infinity. So, students, this will be 1 upon n and this will be 1. And at n tends to infinity, its value will be 0. And we are getting 0, which means it is less than 1. If it is less than 1, then with De Morgan's test, it will become divergent. It means that here if value is equal to this, then in that case, it will be divergent. So, it will be convergent in this case and it will be divergent when it is equal to this, right? This here is the result of the test that we have. You have to solve it this way by following these steps. This question is for the comment box. How much time it took you to solve this? Please comment and tell me. If you want to watch more videos like this of Infinite Series 2.0, you can check here. If you are preparing for the CSIR net, gate and IIT jam exams and want to improve your preparation, then you can check out the short trick series here and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all very much. Bye-bye.